For over four hours, senators took on the INEC chairman, Professor Tairu Jega, on various issues agitating their minds regarding preparations for the conduct of the upcoming elections. These are in the areas of security, logistics, personnel, level of distribution of the permanent voter cards, and the workings of the card readers. Professor Jega, alongside the director of ICT of the commission, among other technical staff, demonstrated to the senators how the card readers can be used with the PVCs. The INEC chairman expressed the belief that card readers will add value to the electoral process and also meet the expectations of Nigerians for free, fair, credible and transparent elections. Everything we are doing is with a view to improving the integrity of the process. The card reader will help us. On the security concerns which led to the postponement of the elections, Professor Jega was non-committal on the sanctity of the new election dates, saying, however, that the security chiefs as patriotic Nigerians need to be given the benefit of the doubt. The Senate President David Mack and other senators described the briefing by the INEC chairman as an eye-opener. It is for us to assist you to conduct an election that is internationally acceptable in the best interest of this country. We believed is, is ready for this election. If we have concern about any other agency, it is for us to um, interact with that agency. We are about to have free, fair and credible elections. My prayer is that INEC would be able to conduct the elections at the appointed times. Meanwhile, the Senate has formally adopted the fourth alteration bill of the 1999 Constitution, having analyzed resolutions of the state assemblies on the amended sections. Deputy Senate President Ike Ikweramadu sponsored a motion to that effect alongside 47 other senators. The President will now require to address the National Assembly on a yearly basis for what will now be called the State of Nation Address. We've also provided under section 65 for independent candidates. Minister of Justice will now be separate from the Attorney General of the Federation. Same thing will happen at the level of the states. Pre-election matters have now been regulated and they have to be concluded within 180 days of filing. The bill is to be transmitted to the President for assent. Also at Wednesday's plenary, three presidential nominees for key government appointments were referred to relevant committees of the Senate for consideration. From the National Assembly, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.